Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, so for this episode, we have a product provided by Banggood. And uh, thanks to you guys all the while uh, for those who uh, purchase items from the, from the link in the description. Uh, it helps and uh, Banggood took notice. So they looked for us and, uh, pro uh, and got us to uh, provide an unboxing and review of uh, this product. So thank you very much to everyone for for your support and uh, please continue to do so. When you purchase an item from the link in the description, it doesn't cost you anything extra but uh, we just get a little bit of a small commission which uh, helps to do more videos like this. So I'll do an unboxing and I'll share with you the good and bad of this. I have actually tried it uh, yesterday and it was really fun and very durable because uh, this only comes in uh, mode 2 which is a uh, left hand throttle whereas I'm a right hand throttle so initially when I tried it <laughs> I keep banging it to the wall and there's actually a safety feature in it which I'll show you later okay so we do unboxing first and see what's is inside alright so this is how the box comes with it's back so basically basically it's actually a, a quadcopter how about I, I, I open the box and show you Basically, it's a quadcopter with four rotors. The two motors are made to be uh, closer apart, so it looks more like a hover bike, bike kind of a design. So I think it's better that I give you a view from here. First, you get uh, a quadcopter, it looks like a hover bike, and uh, a remote user guide, which uh, comes in uh, English and also, I believe, there's also Russian and uh, the other languages beneath it. There are some accessories. <laughs> okay, it's both. So I'll put this guy over here. Let's see how does it work. Oh, extra battery. But I think, if not mistaken, on the listing, you get to choose a single battery, two batteries, and three batteries. Okay, a charger. And there's the parachute. Oh, there's extra propeller. I thought there's no extra propeller. There are four extra propellers. So these are stuff that you'll get in the box. This is for like a parachute. So even though it looks like a, like a toy grade uh, quadcopter, but I recommend you to read the user manual because there's actually a startup sequence to uh, how to initiate these props to start moving. There's actually a sequence and a certain uh, stick movement that you have to do. And also, how to start it is by turning this on. You have to turn on the quadcopter first before you turn on the remote. So just do a long press, there's a beep. And then, uh, mode 2, if you're on mode 2, you need to push the throttle up and down. Okay, and then do this. Well, now I'm on mode 1 because I already hacked it to become mode 1. So I have to do a throttle up, down, and then do this. Then it will initiate. Okay, then just throttle it up and holding it down to uh, cut out the throttle or another simple way would be just press this and then you hover to a certain height but that at the beginning is quite a bit scary because uh, the amount that it climbs is like not that it's not like very low there's a certain proper height so let's try it So you see, I there's also a it will also detect uh, when if you hit the ground and then if you uh, made mistake if you hit uh, some obstacle very hard you actually cut off the propeller by yourself you can detect that. So these are the trim. So this this trim is for uh, I mean in my case is for trimming the the elevator okay going forward and backward and then uh, this one is for the aileron. Also you see there are other buttons up there okay this one is to increase speed basically but it's actually outer it actually changes the the tilt angle the pitch angle and the roll angle so you can move faster and this one is an emergency uh, cut off this one you have to hold the button pressing one doesn't work you have to hold the button okay then this demo it will do a, a rotation spin in a circle I mean like the like this is the center and then we will just Keep pointing at the center and uh, do a rotation. This one you have to be careful with this, okay? 
This one you have to hover at a, at a, a proper height, like let's say on an eye level height, and then it will actually when you press it, it will do a, a roll, a flip. One nice thing I like about this quad is that the altitude height control, which I'll show you later. You actually hover uh, at a at a height by itself, like uh, as if uh, there's a. I'm not sure whether there's a whether there's a barometer in it that uh, controls the height. It's actually not bad. I wouldn't say uh, like DJI kind of level, which is like that that accurate. Uh, Altitude control, but it, but it's nice. It's something nice to have, uh, especially for a beginner. That I know there are many who can't really control the altitude properly. So this is a very nice feature, and uh, the performance-wise on the altitude hold, altitude hold feels like uh, during those time when we are using our APM. So that's actually not bad. <coughs> also to note is that uh, th there's a blue LED in front, which is the front. It means the front. Initially, when I flied it, I was confused by the control because it's not mode one, and also not knowing not f not knowing beforehand where the front. So I got the control confused, and I keep banging ball in my room. But so far, I see so far okay. There's nothing. There's no damage at all. There's only one instance where the prop came off. I got stuck there. But everything here is uh, flexible, so it's very well uh, able to absorb the, the impact. And also, I'm a fan of uh, Ishin product because uh, so far their price has been very, very cheap and uh, yet uh, very nice quality. I'll also give you a quick look of uh, manual here to tell me whether the English is alright or not, whether you can understand this. Okay, so, those four pages are English and this is what German, I think. It's in German and <laughs> what language is this? I'm not sure. And uh, there's no Japanese language. And don't be, don't be surprised that uh, there's no Chinese or Mandarin because uh, Ishin they basically focus on uh, overseas market instead of the the local China market. As for the battery, okay, it's a uh, one cell, three thousand milliamp uh, battery, lipo battery and I think this is quite a good quality one because I'm able to uh, play around it with this for like six seven minutes which is really good so probably I'll put a, a tiny uh, camera VTX uh, video transmitter over here but uh, I love it in another country so probably have to bring it over there and uh, maybe do a, a FPV video, video with this since it has a much longer flight time because those tiny like tiny whoop they, without a camera, they can fly like 4 minutes With the camera, it's like 2 minutes So this one can fly for 6 and 7 minutes Stop uh, So probably if I add a camera, it can fly like 4 minutes at least And uh, so Because it has a carrying capacity So definitely much uh, longer flight time And uh, another thing I like also is The way to charge this battery It actually comes with a, a USB charger Okay You can charge one at a time And uh Things to note is that uh, see these are a tiny connector, and uh, you have to be, be careful with the orientation. Okay, you notice a small hole there, like a half spear, and uh, a notch here. So this is this way instead of uh, this way. You have to match this notch here into the half spear over there, and then you're charging. When it's charging, there's red light. Okay, once it's finished charging, then the, the red light goes off. And uh, this is also a custom power bank using everything from uh, uh, Banggood, uh, the charging circuit, the batteries, and also uh, a 3D printed shell, which is using a 3D printer from uh, Banggood. Everything Banggood. As for the remote, okay, it actually uses two pieces of uh, AAA batteries. Well, of course, I prefer that it comes uh, with a rechargeable battery or comes with battery, but you have to provide your own uh, AAA double double pieces of uh, AAA batteries. You can purchase anywhere or use a rechargeable one. I think this will last a uh, pretty long because this is not like a high powered, uh, high drain kind of remote. This is a very simple remote and actually very good quality. If you look at it, the surface is nice. For the price, you get a really quality product from Ishin. Now I'm going to do a flight video using a GoPro motor on my head. We are actually at uh, my own restaurant. First, you turn on the quadcopter first. 
press on this and uh, you're supposed to uh, push throttle on left up and down okay in my case I hack it to mode 1 so I push up down here and then uh, pulling the stick to the outside and then push up throttle and it comes up so it's very stable hope you can see my remote press it comes to a height and it stays there so you see as I control the throttle it goes up and it stops there instead of keep going up it just stops there I'll do a little bit of trimming first so you see I push up the throttle it stops so this is really a good feature for beginner because I know there are many who just throttle up and go all the way to the roof and bang now notice the angle is rather small very small angle but if I push this it's much higher angle I push again there seems like 3 mode ok 3 mode of this this is much higher angle I press again very limited angle press again higher angle press again third time way higher angle ok and uh, I'm going to show you this emergency button let me bring it to the lower height and then I press press this see you just cut off the throttle now I'll try this button demo button again demo also you see I just crash see I do nothing and it will just cut off the throttle let's try the flip button now I'm going to show you how tough it is I'll deliberately crash it let's go bang bang so you just cut off itself you can detect and then it uh, tells you with the blinking light thing let's crash onto the cage oh, whoa, whoa. Woo, woo. Woo. let's crash onto the cage oh. so you can just press the emergency button and it will cut off Good. Press one, two. Okay, let's go. Woo! Sorry. Okay. Is this still alright? <laughs> yeah, it's still alright. Yeah. Okay, so there's no need to go outdoor for this. I can't eager. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait to uh, put this on. So, so how am I gonna take off? Maybe like that. <laughs> if his face facing down. Uh, okay, interesting. Now it does look like uh, a guy on a parachute. And still very well controlled. But you will need a, a new battery. So with, with those extra weight, it does work. You need to work harder. You have to fly carefully. And now, now it feels okay. Hello. Now we're just a guy. You have to slide it in. And then uh, carefully press the slick down. And then we get trapped at the back. This has a notch at the back. That's much easier. Come high five, bro. Yes. All right. Now, what do I like about this Ishin zero one nine E zero one nine? I think it's fun. Okay, it's cheap for that kind of fun. Uh, like something like uh, once in a while that you got bored with your whatever uh, higher grade of uh, RC like quad your airplane you can buy one of these to, uh, to have fun to play with your kids because there are some these interesting uh, features and also controls okay with some demo and uh, the main thing I like is the durability as you can see in the video of deliberately, deliberately and uh, and uh, accidentally crash it 
uh, and still hold up well. The materials are made to be flexible enough, so hard enough, and then uh, the shroud. So this is probably safe enough for kids, and uh, especially because of the altitude hole design, it's good for beginner. Because I I know there are a lot of beginner who just when they buy a normal quad, they just trot up and then go all the way up and bang the wall. Well, this one when you let go of the throttle, you hold at the altitude. So I think. It's really good for a beginner. Now, what I don't like about this, uh, what I don't like about this, quality-wise, is is good. As you have, uh, you have purchased Pichin product before. They are in terms of price versus quality, they are actually not bad. It's not. I mean, the quality is not bad at all. It's it's good. And uh, if I have to be nitpicking, okay, it would be uh would be the orientation okay I always forgot about the, which is front because we are you we are not used to this kind of uh, team configuration okay we are more used to usually the quad the squarish type and we know the, the front is where the camera is well this one is the blue LED which uh, maybe I I'm not conscious enough to uh, always notice the blue light is the front and another thing is the, the battery the remote doesn't come with any battery uh, and, you, uh, and it requires uh, two uh, AAA batteries which is a bit troublesome to... I mean, I was surprised that there's no battery that go out and buy but uh, it is a tiny issue and then maybe I would prefer it to be a double A because double A has a higher capacity versus a triple A and also it's more commonly available as I have uh, rechargeable, I have many rechargeable AA batteries but this one is a uh, triple, triple A but these are all just the tiny issue but uh, most importantly quality wise this is, is really good as you can, I mean if you receive a product when you receive a product you can see all the, the nice finishing on the surface although it's cheap but uh, doesn't mean the quality is bad but the quality is really good here you can see all the good materials that they use so I'll do a follow up video with this. I'll bring it over to uh, where my <laughs> where I have my tiny VTX for tiny wood, and I'll put it here. Uh, do a video fly around indoor and share with you guys. And uh, maybe I'll rotate the orientation of the board as well by ninety degree. So when it flies forward, it goes like this instead of this. Because this is like uh, if you want to fly through things, this is very wide. You're flying like this, probably you can uh, fly through tiny things and then uh, maybe put another different guy here that looks like a hover bike and also it has a great flight, flight time as I said, uh, I've uh, tried it I mean without the guy, it's like 6-7 minutes so with the camera, probably you can do like minimum 4 minutes as the weight of this, it's pretty light so probably just about the same weight as my uh, VTX uh, equipment so you, you also notice that when the battery gets low, okay, the, it may not hold throttle well and also the two red LED blinking. Uh, I think that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe so you can see more unbox video of this so that you can decide uh, whether it's a good buy or not before you make the purchase. And I'll give you an honest opinion in this. So please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!